Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this hyper realistic HD lace wig with natural looking kinky edges. This new technique makes your hairline roots look seamlessly natural with its kinky texture and mimics the look of a natural hair silk press. Now let's move on to the details of this unit. This wig is in courtesy of I Like Hair and in the package I received wig essentials like bald caps, a comb, and also a melting band to help with the install. The wig I'm installing today is a 5x5 HD lace in 24 inches and this is their natural kinky texture. The hair feels really soft and good quality. The lace features realistic looking kinky edges that are pre-plucked and styled for that natural look and it is also glueless so you don't need any glue for this hair. The lace blends into your skin very well but if you do want to bleach it more that is definitely optional. Inside of the cap it features more lace in the back as well as clips and it also has a detachable band to help keep your wig extra secure. And now it's time to apply the hair on my head. I just applied the unit and as you guys can see it is definitely very realistic like this is the kind of look that you would have um, for a more kinky and curly hair texture as you guys can see um, around the hairline it does look very very natural and it's also very curled up so it's going to give that very hyper realistic look around the hairline now it does look a little bit poofy at first but don't be alarmed because i'm going to give this you know a little bit of more straightened kind of look so what i want to do is kind of just like see where it's going to be ending on my hairline and already it's not looking too bad where it's placed so i'm just going to be cutting off like just a little bit because it honestly fits very well so far I'm going to start by just getting a claw clip and moving the hair out of the way. I'm just going to basically just give it like a little cut just around here. And let's see if that's good. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. So once the lace is nice and in place, I'm going to be using some Nairobi wrap foam and I'm going to use this just to kind of like lay and set up everything. But first what I'm going to be doing is getting some scissors and kind of just cutting the lace in threes. So just cut that like so. And then I'm going to be taking a razor and kind of just cutting off that excess lace. And with this, you want to make sure that you're not actually cutting the hair, but just like a little bit farther apart from where the hairline starts. Because you also don't want to leave too much out too. And you want to just make sure that you're nice and careful on this step because you, because you know, once you cut it, you cannot undo that. So just make sure you're careful. So now I'm just going to take that foam wrap and kind of just apply it all around. And I'm going to just brush it back to lay the baby hair a little bit better. Just like so. Now I'm going to just take a brush and kind of brush that a little bit backwards. Not too much though because I want to show the natural texture of the hairline. So once I apply that, I'm going to be taking the bands and just putting this on the hairline. And this is just going to help mold that lace. And in the meantime, I want to kind of let this down a little bit. And I think I'm going to start by flat ironing the hair. I'm gonna start by getting a wax stick and kind of just putting it towards the part and just making sure that it's nice and 
free of any flyaways. Okay, now that I have my hot comb ready, I'm going to be just giving it a nice press down. And as you guys can see, this is already looking a lot better. I'm going to just be continuing the same process on this side too. And what I like about this is that even if it's being flat ironed, it's still mimicking that natural kinky texture. So while the band is still sitting and setting my edges in place, what I'm gonna do is kind of just straighten the hair a little bit because I want to um, just make it a little bit more sleeker. But even after straightening, I know that this is still gonna mimic the natural hair texture that we're going for here. And I'm just so excited to see how this is gonna come out because so far the quality of this hair feels supreme like it feels so good and so natural so now that we have the hair what i'm going to do is just kind of brush it out and then i'm just going to do about one or two swipes for each um, part so i'm going to just grab that hair and proceed to straightening the hair just like so and this is looking really really good I'm just loving that that looks amazing it does look very silky straight but you can still see that kinky texture this is looking really really good so far So now the comparison with the sides, um, after straightening this side, as you can see, it's just a lot more um, sleeker, but it still has that nice and natural kinky texture. And that's what I really love about this hair. So now we're gonna start doing it on the other side too. All right, so once we take the band off, this is what our lace is looking like currently. Now, I love it, and I just absolutely love how natural and beautiful this looks. Like, if you look close up, you can definitely see like the curlyish hair textures on the lace, and that is what I absolutely love about this. It really gives a natural vibe to the look. What I'm gonna do is kind of blend in the lace just a little bit more. So I'm gonna be taking a concealer brush, and now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this cream contour, and I'm going to be begin applying it throughout the lace to help just blend it out a little bit better. Okay, y'all, so we are pretty much done with the install. 
and look at that just look at the lace it looks absolutely gorgeous and i just love the naturalness of it it has that natural kinky texture on the edges and i didn't want to manipulate that now you could be asking like if you did want to apply edge control and kind of slick the edges yeah you can do that but just to let you know that once you wash it off or apply water to it it most likely will revert back to its original shape so just keep that in mind for today's video i I wanted to go with just that natural baby hair that it already comes with and it looks stunning and it looks so natural it literally looks like it's growing out of my scalp and that's the exact look that i wanted with this unit it just looks absolutely gorgeous and i'm just so in love with the quality of this hair y'all i am living for it this is a glueless wig, so I didn't apply any type of glue, any type of hairspray or nothing. Literally just some of that Nairobi foam wrap and it stays on and it's nice and secure on my head. And overall, this unit is just such good quality and I'm so impressed with how this came out. I mean, y'all, like look at the quality of this. Like it is nice and sleek and shiny and beautiful and it still feels like that natural hair texture and also the baby hairs of it i did not manipulate in any way i didn't cut it or anything like that and it just gives you this nice and natural texture on the hairline and i'm absolutely impressed with how this came out now i like hair was going for a natural hyper realistic lace and they definitely achieved that because this looks so good you guys so y'all we need to get into this hair because it is so nice and flowy and it just looks absolutely gorgeous and I'm just so obsessed. Just to kind of show y'all how long this hair is, this looks stunning and I am so obsessed. And that is it for today's video, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you guys think about this unit. And if you guys aren't interested, all the information will be in the description box below so you guys can definitely go check that out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, lovelies.